Hey everyone, my name is Amber Marie, creative artist and executive master educator with Farouk Systems. Today, I'm going to be taking you step by step how to create a beautiful, sleek, modern blunt cut. So to begin, we shampooed our hair using our BioSilk Silk Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner. So after towel drying thoroughly, we apply our BioSilk Silk Therapy with organic coconut oil. Starting from the mids to the ends, we're going to infuse this silk and coconut bio silk, silk therapy, Miracle 17. It is a spray. So in the same way, focusing on her mids to ends, we're going to gently coat her hair. To distribute, we're going to use our wide tooth comb and brush through. The reason I like to apply the silks first is because you layer based on viscosity, starting with your thinner and then going up. Now, we're ready to cut. Once the hair is thoroughly prepped, we're gonna get right into sectioning. I like to work off the natural part of your model or your client's hair. That way you get the best end result. So I'm going to be using Chi it has a nice little area up here, perfect for sectioning. So I'm going to clean up her natural part just a little bit. Part it out. And then you'll determine how far you come back with the part where the comb comes off of the head. So it's about right here. Then you take that point and come directly back right behind the ear. And that's your first part. So if at any time throughout this, the hair gets a little dry, just go in and mist it with your water bottle. So from this point back behind the ear, that is going to create your first section. Now guys, if your client has a center part, then you would just move the first line directly down the middle. We're gonna gently miss the back again. So moving to the back, you're actually gonna alter. So even though her part is a slight bit off center, the back we're gonna start from the middle of the head. A way that you can find this is come to the front of your client, pair with the nose, slide back, and that gives us center using my Chi and for tech comb, we're going to section that out, creating two. Once we get that line established, we're going to work right past the O-bone. We're going to do diagonal forward slice like this, and this will be our third section. Once the sectioning is completed, you're gonna get your client to look down as much as they're comfortable with. Taking your comb, you're going to brush thoroughly down, right up against the nape. You can even use the back part of your comb to really tuck it in there against their neckline. Using a feather razor, we're going to go in and cut directly on her neck. Don't worry guys, this does not hurt her at all. So really carving out our initial guideline. Guys, don't worry if you notice any little teeny tiny baby hairs that are left over, you can just go back with them with your feather razor or with your shears. Now, switching to a shear, we're going to take down sections on both. So whenever you're working in this type of blunt, sleek bob, your sectioning will help to encourage that movement. Misting the hair to make sure we're working with a nice wet surface and comb down. So guys, we're really working with elevation and using it as a tool to create a successful cut overall. So if you notice, during her first initial perimeter, we had her hair tilted, head tilted all the way down. So basically at a 45. Now we're going to go up 
slightly and what this is gonna do is create length outward. So you're really creating that nice beveled motion just by utilizing the direction of the head. So all the way down. If this was all the way down, we want her to move up just slightly right there. So you see your initial guide right under there. We're going to be following that line, point cutting with our shear. Again, zero tension at this point. Make sure that the head is still at the same position, a little bit further down right there. And go in and see if there's anything that you would like to alter. We're not looking for precision in the line because those little point cuts or even the feathering of the razor is gonna create movement at the base. So once we're finished with the second cut, we're gonna take down another layer and continue. moving into our last and final section for the back quadrants. Let's talk about a little bit of what we've done so far and how we've created this look. As you'll notice, the hair has gradually gotten from gone from shorter to longer. What that's going to do is program the hair to naturally slightly bezel under at the bottom. So this hair is going to create that sleek, modern, blunt bob just from the elevation structure of the hair and the positioning of the fingers throughout the cut. Bringing down our last sections, again, we are going to rehydrate the hair, comb down, and then using two fingers up against the base of her neck, we are going to point cut straight across. The first section in the back was done utilizing our feather razor. We're gonna do the same thing in the front. I'm going to check back here. Do you see that? Right here was our initial guide. Utilizing that, I'm going to come in and carve. Scooping motion forward like this. All right, so now that the cut is completed, we're gonna go through and cross check a little bit before we continue on to drying and then styling and how we're going to tweak it just a little bit with dry cut at the finale. So to cross check, you really want to just go through and make sure that there's no stragglers left. And if you see anything that looks a little funky, just point cut it out. So once you've cross-checked the perimeter and made sure that everything looks nice and neat, so let's get right into styling. First things first, for this look, you want a product that has a little bit of hold that's going to help lay down that hair beautifully. So my choice for today is our Bio Silk Silk Therapy with Organic Coconut Oil Volume Mousse. This is going to prep the hair for this gorgeous blowout for this sleek, modern blunt cut. I love the most that this is an extremely lightweight mousse. Squirt it into your hands. Look how lightweight. Run it through your fingers and then into the hair. Then to section, I'm gonna part the front away from the face.
For her blowout today, I'm going to be utilizing the Chi Lava Blow Dryer with the Airflow Condenser, as well as my Chi Turbo CB12 brush. Simple on-off buttons on the back. You have your cool, your level one airflow intensity and level two airflow intensity. For this look, I'm going to be utilizing my Airflow 2. Now that we're done with the blow dry portion, look at the shine in her hair. That was made possible by the infused lava into the ceramic of the coil on the blow dryer. Isn't it gorgeous? So we're gonna continue on with our styling portion utilizing our Chi Lava hair styling iron in the one and a half inch. We're gonna turn it on, turn the temperature to 350 degrees. Utilizing our Bio Silk Natural Hold Spray, we're going to spray down in the direction with the cuticle and begin to smooth. We're going to hold out at a 90 degree angle and smooth. Her hair is a little bit more on the dense or thick side, so we are gonna utilize dry cutting for just a little bit around the areas that are kind of heavy. Go through and feel the areas that need to remove just a little bit of weight at the bottom. You're going to take it, come out at about a 45 degree angle with your texturizing shears at the opposite direction and cut in. Removing that little bit of bulk and you can just spot texturize depending on where you feel the heaviest areas are. Smoothing the perimeter one final time making sure everything is exactly how you want it. While this cut is not a precision cut, it is tedious when it comes to the finishing touches. Utilizing our Bio Silk Silk Therapy Natural Hold Spray, angling up to spray with the direction of the cuticle so that we further lay it down. We're going to lightly mist and smooth, working 360 around her head, taking care around her baby hairs. A Little bit of our Bio Silk with organic coconut oil. A Little bit. Rub it nice into your hands so that you warm up the product just a little bit so that it just melts into the hair. And then little bitty baby strokes to make sure that you just finish off and polish that look. Okay guys, so what do you think? Stunning, right? You guys, it has been my pleasure. Thank you so much and see you soon.